Hello, time for another daily. It's Maggie. Do we like Maggie? Kind of. Previously mentioned, very tanky. Last time we played Maggie, we had a minor misplay at the start of the episode where we went into the wrong room first. But that was because we hadn't learned about the new item rooms with a uh, cost, a cost associated with them. Uh, if you recall, number one was hidden behind some spikes. Oh, that was bad. Never mind. Let's just use that and get on with this. Larry Jr. This should be easy enough. Ah, uh, careful. We do want to visit our item room on this floor, of course, but... Ah! Uh, we were near the boss. Figured we might as well fight the boss. This particular version of Larry Jr. can be very irritating, as demonstrated. Because even if you're running away like that, it will shoot you. So as Maggie, we're very slow, so we're going to want some speed upgrades to go along with the normally requisite ah, damage upgrades. Oh man, look how far we have to go. Ooh, careful. We have to beat Satan, I think. So hopefully we can get uh, a decent run out of this. We don't want to be fighting Satan with base damage, which has happened before. But then if it's happening to me, it's happening to everybody. If we can stop taking damage, and therefore stop losing points, that would be superb. Maybe I should have gone to see the item room first, but we're done. We may be able to even make the shop worth bomb. Uh, you know, Pageant Boy can pay out with a lot more than it just did. Apparently it chose not to. Superless, you say. Superless can pay out with... Hill, I don't think... I don't think it's uh, 9 lives. Pride is 9 lives. Yeah, Phil. A pill is what we get. A pill is what we shall have. We might as well take it straight away. It's accuracy forever. That's pretty nice. Let's go in here then. A couple of keys. It's going to help for the next floor. We have 8 coins. Possibly makes it worth going to the shop. I'm not... I'm probably not going to. Um... Ooh, that was extremely poor damage. Where are you going? Come back. Um, if we can find uh, a tinted drop, so this this actually might have done us really proud on the Larry Junior fight that we just sucked ass at. But you live and learn. It's not like we're going to have another go. There is a tinted drop, so what I would have got from the shop would be that if the tinted drop didn't exist, or in this case, we haven't actually determined whether it's going to pay out with the spirit heart. But if it doesn't. Uh, it didn't. That's pretty good, though. I'm a fan of that. So we'll go to the shop. I hope there's a spirit heart in here. There is. There's PhD, although we can't use our donation machine to get cash out. Not that we've got much cash in it, that being said. Uh, the flight is really good, though. Now we don't have to worry about spikes, which are a particular nemesis of mine. And second secret room, yeah. And some more pills, nice. Yeah, okay. I found pills. Might as well use this once. There's even more energy there. Ah, I wish I'd known about that. What makes you larger? That's even worse. Well, that was a very poor super secret room. I'm not too happy with it. We did lose our spirit heart immediately after buying it, which upsets me to some extent. And we're not much better off for having done that entire floor than we were when we started it. But it's only the first floor, and this is a basement, not a cellar. It says it's burning basement. I wonder whether there's a burning cellar or whether it's just three things. Uh, arcade may be worth it. We should see what's in the shop, and then determine whether we want to spend the HP required to go to the shop uh, to get enough money to buy the thing that's on the shop, or whether we're better off just surviving. I would very much like to replace this spirit heart. It's all the same to you, game. Uh, is this better? I don't know. Maybe if we find a considerably large room full of rocks, we can think about it. Uh, we'll come back to that. We will go in here. There's a spirit heart immediately, so I will just buy it. I think this chap with the dollars in his eyes sense. Yeah, not a troll sense either, which is nice. So we may want to come back and try and risk those fires for some... 
uh, goodies, especially that eternal heart that's in there. I'm going to try and get it without actually taking damage from the fires, but well, we've seen me play so far, and I would not put a, a, a high possibility on that being a thing that happens. This is a tanky monstro, which just sits the hell still. Oh, great, that's right. Jump <laughs> jump as soon as peep. the peeper is actually going to do me any good whatsoever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was no damage at all, thank you, the peeper. You know, as far as familiars go, the peeper is nearly contro neither controllable, nor particularly damage dealing, which kind of makes it a very low value proposition in my somewhat limited experience. But it's not like we had a reroll, we took it, it got us some points. Some range upgrade, again, no reroll, we'll take it, it gives us some points, and a deal with the devil with stuff in it. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Well, I'm not going to take Cursed Eye because I'm not a fool. Maybe bad. You know, a poor player. Can we get in here? Please don't hurt me. Yes, we can. Right. Uh, probably should shoot these fires, but I'm not going to. Do we want to do... Oh, I shouldn't have picked up the Eternal Heart until I had enough money to go back into the shop. Do I want to spend the spirit heart on that room? Again, no. Uh, perhaps that's a secret room. We should go into the shop and try it. By which I mean buy a bomb and try it. Uh, I'm not <laughs> going to risk that. What I'll do is this. I know we're going slowly, but that's Maggie for you. I would like a speed upgrade. No bomb here. To be honest, I don't want anything. Should I take this? I think take this because... We did get the five cents from this room in the first place, but we're doing very poorly on consumables in general. Great on HP though. Can't fault a Maggie run for HP. We're doing okay on time, I mean six minutes. If you just judge by the boss rush um clock. You can kinda of tell whether you're doing okay on time. We're not doing stupendously on time. Don't jump out the way of my familiar. It's the only thing I've got that does any sort of damage. And it's passive damage, but it has to hit. So, well, you might be able to tell that I'm not a huge fan of the people Or of these particular enemies who won't, <laughs> won't stand the hell still. We did get an extra HP just for joining this level, which is very nice. Now we have two spirit hearts backing us up. Unfortunately, we do not have precedent for deal with the devil, but then neither does anybody else who's playing this seed, so they're all probably thinking the same thing. Oh my god, not a bloody... Red chest deal with the devil again. That's okay. That's okay. We will deal with this room in not necessarily short order, but you know, some quantity of order. There we go. Not helpful, but thanks. It's the thought that counts. And this thing turns. These new popcorns with their dealing out of these explosive silkworms. It just. <laughs> I'm not going to say they're my favourite new addition to the game, because that would be a lie. Look, it didn't even um, didn't even die to a, a hit from the peeper there, so... Although that one did. Does this do what I think it does? Yeah, it does damage to everything in the room and uh, confuses them. Uh, no thank you. See, this is a great floor for an arcade, because I haven't picked up the... Uh, Oh yeah, walk into Maggie. Uh, walk into the the weird ass eyeball. Yeah, twice. Perfect. It was a champion as well, so we lost. Oh, this is just the worst room. I'm inclined to blame my speed, but I'm also just going to blame my piss poor play and my shitty damage and basically everything. Uh, yeah, ball of tires, all right. Probably going to blow the doors off. And if we can find a way to cheese it, I'd like to try that. Um, help, mob trap room. I don't know how I avoided damage there, but I did, and I'm great. Well, and I'm just going to slalom down here, and somehow we did this room. Please turn off when I win. Oh yeah, don't then. You know, that's an option too, I guess. So, despite having taken red heart damage. I wasn't really expecting a deal with the devil at all in the first place because we did get one on the previous floor, which is usually guaranteed as long as you don't completely screw it up. Ah, you didn't give me anything. Okay. Well, that's good knowledge that just because there's a scent in his eyes doesn't mean he's going to give you anything. But uh, I think we're done with this floor. 
<laughs> well, it's going to take forever, so brace yourselves. We haven't really improved our damage. I don't know that Ball of Tar is a damage upgrade in any respect. And we're huge as well, so our hitbox is massive. Wow, careful. And this guy is going to do the... Well, we don't have to worry about his creep, but he's going to do the eyeballs thing, which is the bane of my existence. And I'm still not taking damage, so... I think we're doing okay. I'm not going to say this is my favourite boss of the game either. There's a lot of things I'm not going to say are my favourite things. You may be thinking, do you have anything favourite about the game? Yes. So in the game actually gives you more than half a chance to win it. Which is not what's happening. Hard to damage. That's okay. We really weren't expecting a deal with the devil. There's a certain meta that says that you should intentionally not get a deal with the devil if you can intentionally not get a deal with the devil on the floor. Um, if you were very unlikely to get one in the first place, but that seems mathematically unsound if you're asking me. So the math works as in, after a deal with the devil has opened, on the next floor you have, brilliant, 25% uh, chance of it happening again. And then on the floor after that, if it doesn't happen, a 75% chance. Should we go into that room? It's a very long way. I'm going to go no. So on that floor we had a 25% chance if we didn't take red heart damage. We did take red heart damage, which means we had... Oh, I'll do that, shall I? Um, less than 25%. I don't know exactly what it is. Now, people would have you believe that if you therefore intentionally force the door not to open, then you guarantee yourself a 75% chance on the next floor, which is this one. But that sort of doesn't take into account the fact... Oh, I can get out and I'm going to curse room. It doesn't take into account the fact that all you're trying to do is get deals with the devil, right? It doesn't matter where they are. And in fact, you want as many as you possibly can. Oh, fuck. So if you sabotage a deal with the devil, you've actually made yourself worse off. Judgment. Uh, maybe. What was this? Good heart. Well, this could be good for um, if there's an arcade on this floor. Now, I wouldn't say that intentionally not getting a deal with the devil on a 25% floor is better than having a 75% chance on the next floor. Unless it's a 100% chance, you don't want to sacrifice the 25% chance. Ah, uh, nothing from you. He'll pay out, mark my words. This is going to be a slow run, a tanky run. We haven't had a single damage upgrade that I can remember. Maybe Ball of Tar? I'm not going to count the Peeper. Because it only does sporadic and... Uh, it's, it's just unpredictable damage. You can't control it, you can't say go and attack that enemy. And without BFFs it's not even that good damage. I don't know if it's good damage with BFFs to be honest, but we haven't had the opportunity to find out, so... Let's not spitball that one. These things would just sort of die faster. We should be doing a lot more damage than this by this stage of the game, but again... Everybody else is in the same position because this is a daily challenge. I don't think there are any different decisions we could have made. You know, I don't think that there was a an opportunity to not get... Well, I guess we could have got a different deal with the devil. You know, skip the first one and gone to the next floor. I don't know how that works. Um, it's possible that it's just the first deal with the devil is always the same. Uh, whereas it's possible that it depends on the floor could be that if we didn't get a deal with the devil on the second floor and did get one on the third floor, we would have been in a completely different position. Who knows? We'll go in here on the... Oh, brilliant. No, thank you. I did not want you to shoot at me immediately and it's very difficult to dodge, to be honest. I, I'm just so big. I don't know how to put myself. Also, I do find greed still a very difficult fight. I've not quite got uh, a grasp of the way it shoots. It always shoots orthogonally to itself. Normally when a triple shot comes in you just need to move in a direction and the one that's aimed at you won't hit you. But only if it's aimed at you and these ones aren't. So will you just stand still? Seriously. We've got plenty of cash for the next floor. Maybe for that judgement. We should go back to that judgement. I know we're slow, but unless that deal with the devil thing I was talking about is the case, 
It's, it's graded on a curve, is what I'm saying. If everybody does badly, you end up in a similar position and you still get a B minus, you know? I probably could have taken less damage. No, thank you. Not HP. It's not HP. <laughs> it's even fucking worse. What a very expensive trash item. Oh well, it's still not very powerful. This is going to be a problem very quick. <laughs> you need to s fuck you, Tony. Uh, this might help on the boss fight. Although I'm very tempted to use it on this room. I'm probably going to wish that I had before too long. Help. <laughs> These things are so fucking tanky when you've got base damage. Especially base Maggie damage, which I think is 0.75. Don't quote me on that. Check the wiki. Maggie's one of them unkillable characters. Look how much HP we've got. And there's a two of hearts knocking around, so we're not going to die. You know. Uh, maybe later on when we get to the Satan fight, but... I hate to say I told you so, but it is possible to get as far as the Satan fight and not have had a single damage upgrade, you know, to your tears. If we're really lucky, we'll get uh, a Brimstone or something. Even Brimstone into the late game suffers without a decent amount of extra damage. I'm going to try not to get hit by these fires, but I'm not going to guarantee everything, so don't hold your breath. I'm also trying not to get hit by them. <laughs> We did get the arcade that we wanted though, so we should go back and find that two of hearts. So we'll get some... We haven't got any uh, reason to go to the shop. I mean, we've been to the shop, is what I'm saying. And it was green. But we'll go and use this two of hearts now. Oh my god, we are so slow. Use that. Use that. There we go. Back to square one. Just pretend to the devil that we never took red heart damage and he'll be okay with it, yeah? I won't tell if you won't tell. A penny, brilliant. These fuckers. If they're on the creep, that's kind of okay, I think. Because uh, they're permanently slowed on the creep. And there's also the slow effect from the tier. Um... But there's a refractory period after you cause a status effect to an enemy with a tear, in which they're immune to, I think, any status effect, not just the one you hit them with. So, if we can keep them on the creep, then we can keep them slowed, rather than trying to use a tear effect to slow them down, which is not going to work. Same with these guys, actually. Get them on there and properly slow them down. There we go. There we go. Try and do any amount of damage to it at all. We're going to start to get into the territory of bosses that are just going to be impossible to beat with this damage. Let's see forever though. We'll take that and go look in. No, nope. we'll take that, go to the boss and use the death card, the hollow. Oh, that should be easy. And it is an angel room. At least we uh, earned it. Yeah. This is super good, actually, since we can fly. We're going to lose one of these spirit hearts, but... Only when we go down to the next floor, so that's fine. We play <laughs> we're playing. Probably gonna lose it on this floor, let's be honest. Did we even find the item room? Well we found the um secret room, which is sort of plan A. Yeah. The B I can see forever pill, it is probably due diligence to go look into the secret rooms because you don't need to guess. And they can contain some decent stuff. And this is a super secret room, so hopefully not one of those ones with Nothing but shitty pills in if you don't oh my god. If you don't mind. Please! More damage. Anything. Again, angel rooms. You know, I'm happy to have been granted one, despite the red heart damage that we took, but also It was shit. <laughs> there was nothing in it that we really cared for. Uh, a black heart. Well, okay. Do we want that? I think we might want that. There's not much poop from now on. So um, petrified poop is not going to give us very much benefit. Apparently. How have I done this much floor and not found the item room yet? I can tell you where it is. It's in this direction. There it is. It's right next to us. Could this have been our saving grace all this time? Perhaps. <laughs> Look, guys, I'm I'm not going on your territory there. I'm not 
Look, I know it stacks the deck in my favour, but the game is not... It's not playing well. Uh, <laughs> well, presumably most people who are watching this video do not know what this is, so I will take it and I will show you. Now we have bombs, instead of tears. And we can fly, and we have a top hat, and a monocle, and we'll leave. 6,000 points is not a lot of points, oh dear, I bounced off of that rock. Okay, it bounces off of rocks, but not off of holes. Do you know this? No? Relax. Well, it makes you poop. Classic. Do we want this? Probably want this. I'm expecting to take a lot of damage so he can get more red hearts. We will take it. Oh, unfortunately, we do lose our black heart and we're way behind the boss rush timer now, which it, I'm not considering boss rush, I'm just considering how damn slow that means we are. Uh, I'll take the penny. Uh, please blow up. Thank you. I can see forever is worn off, of course, so. Oh, these guys are harder than the other guys. There we go. Um, I mean, the secret rooms will be free. Those hosts are going to be impossible to kill with bombs. That was very lucky. Pretend I didn't say something and then immediately contradict it, because that would be weird. Petrified poop is back. That's interesting. This is a mob trap room, so we'll take it. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, there's a spider. That wasn't very clever. Now, is this a change that I am now noticing? We came down here with our eternal heart, but we didn't get the HP, and we didn't knock our black heart off. <laughs> now, normally you would expect that. Oh, you're that one, are you? Oh no, it's just all of you at once, okay. Um, normally you would expect that you get the red HP from the eternal heart maturing when you change to the next floor. But it would knock the heart at the end, i.e. the black heart, off. So you would lose it. It would be gone. We still have it. So I'm guessing that we didn't get the red heart. I feel like we got the same amount of red HP as we did when we got the eternal heart. So that eternal heart did nothing for us. Thanks, Angel Room. For nothing. To the space. We'll just use it. Because we're going to open this. Infamy, yeah. We're not particularly strong as a result, but... Again, it's a very defensive run. But it's a Maggie run, what do you expect? This is probably one of the harder instances of Dr. Fetus. These things are very mobile. Well, they're not anymore, so that's... Just put bombs everywhere. Maybe Peeper could do something. No? Okay. Refills our black heart, which is nice. We should probably look for some secret rooms. Maybe some cards. Cards in the skulls? Black heart, yeah? We probably would have been better off waiting for the black heart that we had to you know, die. Oh, found it. To die. Uh, okay. The money's nice and everything, but I don't know if it's worth spending the time on it. We're after all in it for the... Uh, it really, really wasn't. So, there we go. I'll have that. Thank you. These things should be a cinch. With bombs like this. I really think this um, epic piece has actually increased our damage to a considerable amount. It's not... Normally, epic... Uh, sorry, Dr. Fetus. You, uh, maybe I'll take it. Empress. Normally you, you'd think twice about taking Dr. Fetus. It, there's a lot of benefits to being able to just blow anything up that you want. Tears down. Great. Down. Thanks, announcer. I, I can read. I'm going to rub it in. Uh, but we were doing such poor damage that I actually think that, it, <laughs> that Dr. Fetus just could not have reduced our damage further. Possibly have been buffed. Another defensive item. And that's spirit heart. I don't think we really need the bomb sense game, but I appreciate the gesture. 
Previously, it was possible to have bombs that were so weak that you know you could shoot them at an enemy and just have no effect on the enemy. It takes several bombs to kill an enemy. Don't know whether it's been buffed as a result. Oh, it was a lucky penny, which is nice. Oh, super creep. Perfect. The other nice thing about bombs is that it stops them. You just do that. Of which I'm a fan. Uh, what are we looking at here? Bank debts one. So, oops. I actually placed a bomb by accident with my fat fingers pressing Q. Well, E. So we should have a shop on the next floor as a result of having fought both greeds already. I'm trying to blow these up if it's all the same to you. Well, wasn't worth the time. Could have been, though. Help. Uh, I don't know how to position myself so that the bombs stop where I want them to stop. I don't even know how or whether I can kill these guys with bombs. Yes, yes I can. Temperance. We'll play that and we'll play a bit. Uh, maybe worth it? Let's put this here. Not really what I want. Uh, hello. I just ran straight into you. It's, it's a form of greeting where I come from. You're uh, No, no, no. No. You don't no secret room here? Maybe. Oh, we know where the secret room is. I don't know where the super secret room is. Is it here? I feel like these would be finding it. Yeah, it's not there. War, huh? Good god, you all. Look. It's a rite of passage on YouTube to make the Edwin Star war jokes when you first start out creating Isaac content. I'm really glad that we have the ball of tar right now, if I'm honest. War does chase you down. Ah! Quite considerably. Ball of bandages might be helpful. I'm going to suggest it's not, unless we can get some sort of invincibility item. Uh, well, we're not getting to that room unless there's a secret room, which there isn't. Excuse me. Dr. Peters does have a certain quantity of aiming issues, but we can deal with Chubb pretty quickly. Here we go. Chubb hate smoke. Here we go. Don't know if you know, but Chubb hate smoke. Hmm? I read that once in a book. Yeah, I can read. Oh, that was really good, actually. I want to play with that. Is this Joker? We're going to take it now. Uh, it was probably worthwhile. It's a damage upgrade. If we'd had this earlier on, I probably would not have taken Dr. Fetus, because now, A, we don't get the cool tier effects. Ah! I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this, because it's exactly what I asked for when we went down from the last floor, where I went... You know, oh look, we've got... Sorry, I had to concentrate. <laughs> oh look, we've got a ball of bandages. That would be great if we could, you know, walk into enemies without fearing for ourselves. Of course, ah, look that. With uh, Death's Touch there, our bombs do go through the enemies. Don't know if that used to be the case. Uh, hang around is useless. We do want to find the shot. Because we have so much money. We can't stop enemies in their tracks anymore, but we do have the ball of tar slowing them down anyway. Which helps. Excuse me? No, no, no. You're not allowed to do this. Bad timing. Come on now. This is pretty difficult. Yeah, that's a downside of Dr. Peters there. So you have to time the explosion. Uh, what, what popped? I don't know, but I'm grateful that... Um, but our, our people did something for once. Timing the explosions when you don't even know where the enemies are going to be, as you can imagine, is a challenge. I don't recall it being in the art of war. Know where your enemy will be before you start dropping bombs on them. Uh, oh, I don't know whether it takes more points to kill them when we don't even know how than we do for killing them in the first place. Shot would be nice. That was a super secret room as well. Did we find the regular secret room? We did not. That's very irritating. Try to blow up um, your skulls 
Well, the doors have already opened, so you can just leave if a host shows up. Could we go here at the entrance? Yeah, I think that will help us against the mom fight. Tifa, do something. Okay. Ah! Okay, we're okay. And can we do that? Yes. We didn't find our shop. We should find the shop. Full card. Mm, 28 minutes doesn't really matter, I think. Oh, that stays there, does it? Well, that's a change as well. You know what? The full card back to the beginning. We'll go in here. Why not? Okay. I can see forever. Well, that helps. There's a thing. So we didn't need to pay to get in here. Except for the fact we had to be in here before it didn't cost us anything. So... Swings and roundabouts, I guess. Shop contains. Humbling bundle. Probably pretty good. I don't think it's as good as it could be at this stage of the game. The tower is no use. The kill is pretty, pretty fly. fly. And there's all some extra money. Which I think, at least picking it up, gave us some points. So that's okay. And we'll just leave, I guess. We have to beat Mom first, but... I think we've made ourselves at least a credible opponent to Satan. Not an incredible opponent to Satan by any means. What was this? The Empress. Yeah. Um, but a credible one. I think it's another Empress card in here, isn't it? Yeah, so that's okay. And we just have to actually hit Mom, which is easier said than done, and not hit ourselves. Ouch. Not ouch, okay. I... I am having to concentrate to some extent. Ah. I feel like I'm in a test. Well, I am in a test, I suppose. It's a test of skill. I feel like I haven't revised, though. Hello? Anything? No? Uh, Fall of Bandages helped us out a little bit there. It's going to be impossible to hit Mom's foot with these uh, bombs, though. Difficult enough to hit the actual body pieces that stick out the doors. Yep. Yeah, I think we're done. We have got a choice of the negative or the Polaroid. I guess it doesn't actually matter. So we'll take the Polaroid, I guess? We have been in here, yep. Reason it doesn't matter is we're going to be forced to go to the Satan fight, but the choice of Polaroid or uh, negative determines what happens after the Satan fight, of which we're not doing. That was a decent bump. I will do this. I hope for the best. Flying enemies, of course. Not much affected by our protective creep that keeps things away from us while we try to aim the shot. Please don't be that dickhead one that does... Ah ha ha! Yeah, that. Gotcha. Don't know if you noticed what I did there. Mad strats. But... I wanted to make sure... Wouldn't just fucking stand still. Get over here. I wanted to make sure that the enemy landed on the red poop. That spider was not going to die. Do you see it? It's just refusing to give up. Vive la révolution, etc. The magician. I could be cool. Probably should have used the Empress at some point, but we're only going to be facing harder enemies, so... So why, I suppose? I'm not going to open those. We haven't had a single guppy item that I remember. I forgot I had the Book of Shadows. Because I've not been using it. It's one of those items you don't really use unless you really need it. But because you haven't been using it unless you really need it, you forget that you got it when you do really need it. So that's decent. Um, we can still make use of it. We just have to remember to. The trinkets are dropping multiply, which I've noticed. It's also new. Uh, yeah, this could help. Anything? No. Nope. It did not help, I don't know if you noticed. This is going to be a difficult fight because trying to time bombs to explode next to skull legs is going to be a pain in the ass. Just going to keep firing and hope. Maybe, uh. Maybe Peeper there could do something for once. Oh, it did. It did. Oh, it got exploded out of the way. No! Let me out. Help. That was an excellent bomb if I do say so myself. And I actually appreciate the speed upgrade because as Maggie. It's valid. 
the Empress. Yes, that's what we want. And we'll take the Spirit Heart that we got from random. Nope. Swallow Penny is probably no use to us. I don't think we'll get as many points for the Penny as we would lose for getting hit at this stage of the game. I didn't actually happen to notice whether we lose points. Oh, shit me. What the hell? <laughs> okay, I think I did that right. Uh, I didn't happen to notice we lose points for playing the Blood Bank. Because obviously it's damaged. Because it doesn't count to us to deal with a devil uh, penalty, basically. So. Oh, oh that's me. <laughs> I'll open this. That was not worth opening. Uh, I don't want to be here by any stretch of the imagination. We can use our ball of bandages. Let's do this. Excuse me, please. Thank you. I think that was the right time to use that if there was ever going to be a time to use that. Tears down is not what I'm looking for, no. It's not like... It's, it's the ball of... Uh, it's the book of shadows, you know? There's going to be bad times to use it, but it's going to come back. It's not like we've squandered a card, just for the sake of it. I'm trying to get this to land near it. Mm. Range on the bombs leaves something to be desired, because you can't really control it too well. <laughs> Ballsy, it worked. 20 cents, yeah, 20 points for 2 cents. Seems on par with the normal. I think it's... Like 10 points for one set. Uh, yeah, just catch the bullet. That's how we play this game. No, no, no. no. It's going to be difficult because the bombs are not going to stop them. And you can't use the trick we used against Super Greed earlier. If we move backwards whilst dropping the bomb, we can affect the range of it. Which is super helpful. I'm gonna try this. Uh, yeah, well done. Oh, yeah, really. Very good. I uh, didn't want this. Thanks for, thanks for. Thanks for letting this happen, but I don't really want it. Yeah. These bombs are pretty powerful, actually, to take out. I mean, good leaders are not. strong. In any respect. But compared to the tears that we had when we got the bombs, that was a very lucky timing. Compared to the tears we had when we got the bombs, those gurglings would have taken considerably longer, so... I think the bombs were the right decision. I'm really trying to hit this thing, but when it moves fast, I've aimed for slow, and when it moves slow, I've aimed for fast, so... I mean, if you can say that I aimed at all, I think I did. I think it would be rude to say that I didn't, so... I'll use the Empress card. I don't know when to use... Um, ah, help! That was really stupid, I don't know. this. Try and hit that. Ah, uh, no, not great. I'm trying to set a bomb in motion whilst avoiding all these sons of a bitch. Right, I would just try firing forever. And then at a relatively same sensible time, we're going to try hitting the ball of shadows. What's happening there? I don't like that. Ball of shadows? Ball of bandages? Book of shadows? Yeah, that was probably the right thing to do. Devil? Gives us what is this? And what are you guys doing? Leave me alone. Help. Our shot speed was reduced, of course, by that one. And um, hill that we took ages ago. Consume thy enemy. Isn't that what Isaac's fork does? I didn't take Judas's shadow, you may have noticed. Because I don't wanna have to I've got a lot of HP. Judas' shadow will revive us with two two hearts with the hits. Oop, careful. Right. Oh my god. How do I avoid these things? How do I do enough damage to kill them? Uh, did I kick my own bombers now? Uh, basically, if I'd taken Judas' shadow and killed myself, I would be dead just now, because the amount of damage these bombs are doing is not going to... The new bombs would not have, you know, assisted there. Wow, thank him for me to save my life. Strength. Strength will probably let us get money off a deal with the devil. 
Oh, we don't need one, because this is the last level, so... We should feel free to use the strength card whenever we think we need it. It's probably going to be the Satan fight, but I think we're doing okay. We are doing okay. Whoa, Kevin. Got that one. I'm just going to hang it over here until he's visible again, yeah. Seemed like the right play. There's a lot more enemies that are very mobile, it seems, but this, ah, help! Stays with me. Really? Okay. This is probably the right time to do this, but it's too late. I've taken the damage. I'll do it anyway. Please be on that side. There we go. Obviously, the bombs are a lot harder to control. Well, not, not control, but aim, literally. Pretty fly. When the enemies are that mobile, and now that we've got Death's Touch, which the damage is worthwhile, but I really didn't consider the fact that piercing shots are going to be a problem for us. But it's not helping. We can't hit the enemy and have them stop. We have to aim where the enemy will be, and we haven't got a choice about our accuracy. I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> it seems like the right direction. I'm trying to get that in there, so that, yeah, that, that. Perfect. I'm expecting actually. Oh no, they're not like this. Please. Wow, these guys are tough. Literally spawned on top of you. Did you see that shit? What's the guy supposed to do about that? I'm expecting maybe a secret room here. Hello? We found it already. We did find it already. We found it already. What are you doing? That seems like me. Uh, there's a bad guy in our super secret room. Which I do not like. We could actually probably use our actual bomb. At this stage, I found pills. No thanks. Go. Uh. No. <laughs> Gotta be careful with actual bombs, of course, because uh, they hit. We have to place them correctly. Uh, let's do this phase with Book Shadows play. Please rotate faster, Book of Shadows. Nope, ball of bandages. Good. And then you... are going to take this much. We haven't had any opportunity to reduce the effects of that one makes you larger. Very upsetting. So now I've got a huge hitbox and I have to not take... Oh, something saved me. I'm still being saved. Pretty sure I got carried by it for me and my orbitals just now, but... Yeah, we'll just say that as it, as it is. Pretty sure it's going to be very difficult to actually achieve now that we've got bombs, because we have to get them to land in a position such that they damage the hooves, but without actually being knocked aside by the hooves. Oh, we took damage. Uh, and we're not doing a whole lot of damage ourselves, so... I'll tell you what, remote detonate would be great at this point. I think the most of the damage I've done so far has been people. Yeah, this is this is <laughs> shit shoot. Help me, help me. Maybe we can start using the ball of band. Yes, because we don't take contact damage, so we just need to not get stomped on, and then start. Shit, help. Trap myself into a corner a little bit. Oh, you spawned next to me, you dillho. I uh, don't know what a dillho is. Guess probably some sort of. Wow, well, I don't know what gave me that. But please play it. Some sort of tool used to remove weeds from the herb patch, but we managed it. I should probably pick this up for a point. Yeah. And this? Yeah. Sweet. We did well, <laughs> in my opinion. Only 4,000. 4,600. I think we did okay. That was not a great run at all. The, the lack of damage throughout was just dragging us down so far. But we did it. We managed it, we didn't die like on the lost run, so uh, I'm happy with that. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.